Good morning everyone. It is early on a Saturday morning and I feel like I've got deja vu here, but it's a uh, new car collection day. Again, somehow. I will explain, but for now. Um, so today I'm not taking the Mini. We are going in this uh, rather sneaky, but still very aggressive V8 monster. Oh, I'm about to get run over. Whoopsie daisy. Well, we are off to Porsche in Kent, Tunbridge. That's the same thing. So yeah, let's crack on. Oh, woof. So as many of you will have guessed by the title, probably somewhere out there, um, I'm off to go and get a GT4. There's a very long and boring story about how this came to be. Um, and of course, I'm going to share that with you in, in a name depth. Um, so, I guess the, the this saga started in about 2000, late 2014, um, when there was kind of the rumor mill was going on. Well, I found out about it anyway. The rumor mill was going on about uh, GT4s coming out. So, I thought I'd get in the pot. So, I contacted the Porsche dealer and said, Hi, I would very much like one when they come out. Um, please take my money. So, I put a deposit down, uh, I think late August. Uh, 2014 maybe, thereabouts. A um, few months down the line, the dealer basically came back to me and said, yeah, thanks very much, but you probably won't get a car. And if you do, it will be kind of mid-2016. So I thought, oh, that's a bit silly. So give me my deposit back. So there I went with my deposit, cancelled it. Um, and then a few months after that, I heard the rumour mill spinning up about the box to Spider, which I was very excited. Hello. Hiya. Yeah. Um, the Boxster Spider. So I thought, excellent, get me in the pot with one of those. That looks delicious. I used to have a Boxster years and years ago, a manual one. Um, absolutely loved it. So uh, yeah, I, I deposit went back down for one of those. Great. Um, then fast forward, for, I don't know, like a year or so. Uh, the dealer was like, yep, great. Uh, good news and bad news. Good news is we can source you another car, but the bad news is we screwed up the allocation and you won't be getting a box to Spider. But the good news is you can have a GT4. So it came full circle, so there we go. Um, and I got an email from the dealer last week saying that I could go and pick it up. And I didn't see the email until yesterday. And I'm going on holiday next week. So this has been a last minute, poorly organized collection, as I'm sure that won't surprise you. There's been absolutely no planning gone into this video whatsoever. I've hauled him out of bed this morning to go and give me a lift. Um, so yeah, we are off to Kent. As usual, bloody hell. So as usual, my timing's been absolutely appalling. Um, we're meant to be there at nine. It's nine o'clock now, and we're about half an hour away. Um, they've squeezed me in with a last minute handover, so there's someone. Ah! Um, so there's someone that's picking up their car already um, shortly after me. So yeah, it might be it might be a two minute handover, which will be exciting. It's fine as long as they show me where the ignition is or whatever it is you use to turn it on. It should be fine. Hurry up. Uh, don't. Yeah, <laughs> better. Better. Good. Legal life. <sighs> Why is life so difficult? So apparently we have a technique for... Um, passing it, Peugeot drivers. Passing Peugeot drivers. Passing Peugeot. Your words, not mine. I have no <laughs> issue whatsoever with Peugeot drivers. So what, what's the technique? What do we do here? Well, just whack on the right. Whack on the right indicator when you're in the outside lane, and um, as you can see, the waves part. Well done. <laughs> that's, that's worked really well. Oh, there we are. Oh my word! What's happened? Has it exploded? Ah! Oh! Don't oh fucking film that, mate. Oh my god! <laughs> that was actually good, Lord. Well, we nearly died. So <laughs> brilliant. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Yeah, every class. I'm off to get my new car. So, so apparently we're here without dying, most importantly. Ta-da! Oh, what have we got? Ah, oh, the guy 
Sport Classic. Your budget cars. I think they're like a quarter of a million quid now. Um, lots of Porsches, as you'd expect. Oh no, what's happened? Oh no, who's this? <sighs> Here he is. He turned up, to be fair. How do I do this? Uh, very good. Hello, Morning. Had your breakfast? <sighs> Why did you have to turn up in this? You've ruined my day. That's uh, it's not bad in fairness. This is not what I'm collecting, by the way, obviously. This is far too silly. Russell's. Hey, is that yours? Over there. Uh, no. No. Become massively distracted at the dealer as these things tend to happen. Sport Classic. Checkered seats. Unbelievable scenes. Love these. Used to be what? 130 okay? Now a quarter of a million? Cheers. Sexy ducktail as well. Scenes. New Boxster vibes. What do we think? So, as you may have guessed it, here it is. Here is the new TG Mobile. Ignore the F12, please. So I've gone for a gate grey, gone for the ceramics, gloss black wheels, uh, Alcantara interior with yellow stitching, very important 12 o'clock marker, very very important, I think that was about 160 quid just for this thingy, but it's crucial obviously for some reason, I don't know why. Um, the all important 918 bucket seat, which is uh, they're all carbon based in it. I don't know if you can see that. I can't really see it on my screen at the moment. Um, harness, the club swap package, and full carbon interior. So there we go. Yellow stitching as well in the headdress. And your roll cage back there. Couldn't be happier with it, really. Absolutely unbelievable. So happy with how it came out. So yeah, there we go. Let me know what you think zoom out a little bit without getting run over in the car park. Do let me know what you think of the spec. Would you have done it any differently? I know I wouldn't, but then again, I'm quite biased. I had, had a smashed iPhone down there as well. Didn't come with it. Three pedals. Silly boy. So, as you may be glad to hear, that is it from me. Um, a very impromptu, unplanned, chaotic, goodness me, what was that? Unplanned, chaotic uh, vlog of the collection of this, my GT4. Um, I couldn't be happier with how it's turned out. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm gonna do some more proper videos with it very soon, but uh, for now, I'm going to drive home and work out how to use a manual. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, thumbs up, subscribe and all that lovely stuff. Cheers guys, bye.